What's up guys? It's your boy John back at it again. Welcome back to another cocktail vlog. So for today guys, pass muna tayo sa paggawa ng drinks. But instead, we're talking about cocktail shakers for today. So there's a lot of different cocktail shakers in the market. But these two cocktails that na pag-uusapan natin guys, ito yung mga commonly used na cocktail shakers sa bars tsaka sa mga home. Pag-uusapan natin guys, yung difference ng Boston Shaker or Cobley Shaker. Lalo na kung beginner ka lang or pros. So I hope guys, mabigyan ko kayo ng mga idea kung bibili kayo ng mga cocktail shakers. So ano pang iniintay nyo? Let's talk about bar. So the first cocktail guys is ang tinatawag nilang Boston Shaker. Ano nga ba ang Boston Shaker guys? So ang Boston Shaker guys is meron siyang dalawang part or two tins. For the tins, meron tayong big tin at saka smaller tin. So itong cocktail shaker na to guys or Boston Shaker, ito ay mga commonly used sa mga bars kasi it is very easy to use. And then, napakadali niya lang buksan guys. So papakita ko sa inyo paano gumawa ng drink with this shaker. So ang gagamitin ko lang dito guys is water. Shake natin yung cocktail guys. So paano ginagamit to? Smaller tin is lalagay nyo lang sa ibabaw. Bigyan nyo lang siya ng konting press para mag-lock. Lock nyo guys. And for holding cocktail shaker guys, especially sa mga gantong cocktail shaker na 2-piece, very important guys na hawakan nyo yung cocktail from both each part ng or each end ng shaker guys. Kasi merong mga nagsashake ng cocktail na hinahawakan nila sa gitna. Wala namang maliton dun guys. Pero I, th I think it's more safer if you're going to hold the cocktail from the both ends para mas stable and then mas makontrol yung cocktail shaker. So, shake natin guys. And opening this kind of cocktail guys is it's very easy. So may kita nyo guys is meron siyang uwang. So you can just tap it. Bigyan nyo lang ng konting press or you can just move the top and mabubuksan nyo na yung cocktail shaker guys or for example lock natin just a quick tap from the shaker at pag narinig nyo parang toot bukas na yung cocktail shaker natin guys so for this shaker so pag inistay natin sa cocktail guys kakailangan natin dito ng third piece which is ang pinatawag nilang Hawthorne strainer it perfectly fits with the shaker and then may kita nyo guys is meron siyang spiral which is it helps strains all the ice and then all the fruits especially guys kung ang drink nyo is meron mga fresh fruits herbs it helps strain the cocktail fits lagay nyo lang sa ibabaw guys and strain natin sa baso guys also guys meron din siyang glass so since itong takip na ginagamit natin yung stainless meron din glass guys so, itong glass na to is also a part of Boston Shaker. Ang advantage guys ng glass na Boston Shaker is if you're a bartender, may kita nyo yung mga binibuild yung drink dito kasi glass siya guys. And also, it's a part of experience for the guests na umuupo sa mga bar stool nyo sa harap, makita nila paano ginagawa yung drinks nila. But the downside guys is it's glass. Kahit anong klaseng glass guys is pwede siyang mabasag. Kahit sabi mong high-end na glass siya guys, especially na pag inilalak mo ang Boston Shaker guys, is kailangan nyo namang konting press or pressure para mag-lock siya. So, ito ang Boston Shaker guys. And ang next na pag-usapan natin guys is ang Cobbler Shaker or 3-piece shaker. So, I think if, if you're just starting or you just want to buy a cocktail shaker, pwede kayo mag-start sa plastic kasi mura lang siya. I think nabili ko tong plastic ko is from Macro. Around 200 pesos meron ka ng cocktail shaker. So pag-usapan natin tong shaker na to guys. So it's a 3P shaker. Of course. Meron tayong body. Ang mid part. At ang cup or head. So let's make some quick drink with this cocktail. And tip guys if you're using this kind of shaker. Unahin nyo muna yung mid part bago yung takip. Kasi once we are shaking cactus, we are putting air, aeration, and then once na lumalamig yung cactus shaker guys, is nag-iiba yung shape niya. Kaya minsan nahihirapan tayo buksan yung mga cactus shaker. 
So let's shake the cocktail. Strain natin sa glass. There you go. That's how you use cobbler shaker. So ang advantage na tong cobbler shaker guys is meron siyang built-in strainer. So may kita nyo sa mid part meron siyang mga butas. So if you're just like done making drinks or cocktail, you just need to remove the cup and then you just strain it to the glass. Ang downside nito guys, if you're making cocktails with herbs and fruits, saan guys, napakahirap niyang strain kasi nabablock ng mga fruits or yung herbs yung mid part and then pag pinupour nyo sa drink is napaka mabagal and downside guys is minsan napakahirap niyang buksan nakikita nyo sa mga bars di ba pag gantong shaker pinupokpok nila or nirarun nila into like hot water or like any water para lang mabuksan nila yung cocktail shaker So, kung sa home bar lang guys, wala namang problema kung cobbler shaker lang gagamitin nyo. So, yun na nga po guys, two commonly used cocktail shakers in a bar. So, for cocktail shakers, ang marirecommend ko lang naman sa inyo is, I think, what's within your budget. Kasi, any kind of cocktail shaker is magagawa naman niya yung job niya properly. Also, if you're just starting, we don't need any expensive equipments or gears. We just need the technique. The ideas and then any two will be fine. So ayun nga po. I hope you find this video helpful and I hope may natutunan kayo. And please guys, if you have any requests or comments or gusto pa pong matutunan, please pay comment down na below. And of course guys, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and click mo na rin yung notification below para pag may mga new videos tayo is manonotify po kayo. So maraming salamat po. God bless everyone. Take care po and see you in the next video. Cheers!